So a lot of people have been asking about this climate of crisis, you know, and even outside of crisis, people ask, you know, how do I get started in investing? Is it the right time to invest? And especially during crisis mode, people ask that question. So because you've asked these questions, we're here to try and answer them to the best of our abilities. My name is Edric Mendoza and this is Fundamentals. So let's get started. I would suggest we look at three don'ts in investing and then three do's. Ano ba yung kailangan natin gawin in a time like this? And I suggest we do this whether it's crisis mode or not. Ang una-una, the first we will look at is don't invest just because there seems to be an opportunity. Instead, here's what we should do. Invest towards a goal. What are your financial goals? When you know what your financial goals are, you can do something like this. How much will that financial goal cost? When will you need to be able to have that money? When you have those numbers together, you can do some number crunching and say, hmm, magkakano bang meron ko ngayon? How much money do I have right now to set aside to achieve that goal? When you put that number set together, you can calculate a return. How much will this money need to make every year so that as it earns that interest or that return, it can achieve the total number and therefore the goal? Whatever that return is or that number, that's how you can now look at the right investment to match it because it gives you the return needed for that goal. That's how you go about investing. And as you do, as a side tip, make sure you diversify. Don't put all your eggs or all of your money in just one instrument or one investment. You may want to mix it up so that it is diversified properly. Number two, don't invest without investigating. So here's what you can do. To investigate, ask yourself, what is the investment? Where are you putting your money? And you want to be able to understand it like a child. If you can explain it to a nine-year-old child or someone at that age, then you've understood it. And then finally, you want to also ask yourself, Who's behind it? Is it a reputable company? Do they have all of the records in place? Kasi po, in a crisis mode especially, there are so many scammers. As you now look at what the investment is, what the return is, who are the people behind it, you now want to also look at yourself and say, what kind of a person am I? Am I someone who is aggressive? I wanna take on a lot of risk? Am I somebody who's moderately aggressive, medio mild, or am I someone conservative? I'm not very, I'm not aggressive. I want to take low risks. That will also help you determine when you look at the invest, uh, the investments, what is the right fit for you. So finally, when you look at investing, you want to make sure you invest only after you have protected yourself. Why is that important? When you start putting money out there to start working towards your future goals, if you have not protected yourself, ang pwede mangyari is the money invested towards those goals will suddenly be needed and hijacked for these protection needs. And if that happens, then now double loss. You don't have the money for the future goal and you're now forcing yourself to put it in something which um, you should have had prepared uh, separately. So make sure the protection goals are set up before you invest your money towards your future goals. What are those protection goals again? Tandan po natin. Emergency fund. Making sure we have sufficient insurance if you are the breadwinner. And finally, making sure you settle as much as possible any bad debt. If you have not settled that, do that first before you start investing. So let's talk about an important set of uh, options. When you look at crisis mode like this, ano ba yung mga options? What are options that might make sense to invest in, right? If you're looking at going medium term to long term, that would be anywhere from three to five years medium term, or beyond that, that would be beyond the uh, six years and up, you want to be looking at options like possibly the stock market. As we know, because of what has happened here, the stock market has been taking a beating. So there are opportunities to get things at lower value, or you might want to invest in the actual index as it starts to pick itself up. But here's an encouragement. If you're gonna look at investing in the stock market, do not time the market. What is important is time in the market. Anong ibig sabihin nun? 
my suggestion and my philosophy in investing in things like stocks is not, is it the best time to buy? Is it the best time to sell? Again, you work towards your goals. Look for good, stable companies that will continue to remain strong even if a crisis has happened to us. We've seen it before and continue to invest in this company through a period of time working towards your goals. Another approach pagdating po sa investing in crisis mode like this is you want to look at what businesses or what industries stand to gain from a, a situation like this because they're heavily invested and they're companies that will help improve situations like this. Now, I don't want to forget this. In every episode of Fundamentals, the heart of this is really a principle and the principle here is stewardship. I want to remind you and me, maybe this will help you feel less stressed as you work towards your goals and invest. Is we don't actually own anything. We're just stewards. And as good stewards, we want to make sure that whatever is put in our hands, whatever hard-earned money we have, goes and grows. That's why we want to be able to invest. And for those that might be parents like me, right? You want to be able to grow it so that you have something to now give to your children that can help them kickstart their own financial journey and so that they do not become our retirement plans. We are instead growing this and passing it on to them. So that is a perspective and one. And for me, if you ask me personally, part of the reason I'm very passionate about stewardship is I realize, yes, I don't own anything, but God does. And because He does, He wants us to use it the way He wants for His purposes. And part of the reason, part of the way to do that is to get what we've got and grow it so that He might say to me, to us who believe this, well done, good and faithful steward or servant. So. Thank you for investing your time with us today watching Fundamentals.